Well, recently our reporter Deirdre Mayers got to put her thinking cap on at the Toronto Science Fair. Take a look. Hi, my name is Deidre Mayers for Daytime Toronto. I'm here at the Toronto Science Fair, and we have Dr. Gabriel here to tell us about the event. What's happening today? So what we have is uh, kindergartens to right up to grade 12 are here um, celebrating the, the science. And, and in fact, uh, science is so exciting that these kids want to show us what, what science is all about. And so we have kids from kindergarten to 6 in the afternoon, and in the evening, the grade Grade sixes, sevens, right up to twelves will participate in more competition, and the winners of this fair uh, will be off, will get the opportunity to actually move on and represent Toronto at the Canada-wide Science Fair, which is held in Alberta in May. So, how do you even enter to get involved in this? Um, schools are, are, are to choose their top students, and then they, they submit their top projects out here, and they participate out here, and then from here we choose them into different categories and move on from here. Yeah. So, what? topic how do you how do they decide what they're going to do their presentation on okay, that's the beauty of it students love to do a topic that they are interested in and the more we can encourage students to find their own topics the better it is because I think that students are excited about topics and they want to explore more into it and therefore they actually grow and learn on their own which is a beautiful thing yeah. so speaking on that now science for me in high school wasn't that fun yeah. but looking back now what do you think science brings to school for the kids okay it, it's hands-on and minds-on and kids are now these days are really hands-on they're right into computer they are right into computer programs, they are right into research, mm -hmm. given the opportunity. So science projects give them an opportunity to actually come out and say, you know what, I'm interested in Alzheimer's disease. I'm interested in putting a, a robotic arm together. And they get an opportunity to actually try this and extend the curriculum beyond what they study in classrooms. Ah, you should have been around when I was in science in school. <laughs> okay, now you have some students for us to talk yeah. to with, the, with their, their programs, right? Yeah. So who do we have first? Okay, well, we have a senior student here. Yeah. Hi, darling, what's your name? Hello, my name is Isabel Aveca Gordon. Thank you for taking time to speak to us. Now, please explain, what is this about? Alrighty, so my project is about looking at green tea being used as a natural antibiotic against cystitis, also known as urinary tract infections. Wow, how did you even come up with that topic? <laughs> Just because of the prevalence of urinary tract infections, I saw it all throughout my society and community and really felt urged to do something about it. So how did you find all the information? Was it hard to research it? Yes, it was because <laughs> it is um, research that hasn't really been done before. Um, but yes, with the help of the trusty internet as well as some mentors at um, Mount Sinai Hospital, I was able to really um, delve into the topic and get the information I needed. Now, science generally, what is it? Do you like it? What does it do for you? Oh, I love it. <laughs> so why do you love it? That's a better question. Because it really gives you the answer why, how things are working. It really gives answers. <laughs> to yeah. several questions of things that are going around mm -hmm. us and I just you get kind of an academic high once yeah. you kind of get that answer it's really great so where do you hope to go with this do you hope to make it into to represent Toronto I hear that the winner from here gets to go on right to go on to Alberta I am hopefully crossing my fingers <laughs> I do get to go on um, yes I would like to carry out this project even regardless um, research this whole experience has really pushed me to go to research and it's been just great I, I love it well, thank you for your time good luck with everything you have one more student let's go over there stroll over around the corner and here I come hi guys what's your name uh, Vincent and what's your name I'm Eleanor now please tell me what's happening back here okay so what we did was that we found a natural preservative mm -hmm. for yogurt so we tested different essential oils with antibacterial and antifungal properties and we discovered that lemongrass oil is actually a really good preservative for yogurts um, it actually preserved it one week and a, or a week and a half to two weeks more than a yogurt without added preservatives. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, no, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, now, how, what do you guys think about science in general? Do you like science, oh. besides obviously being here? Uh, well, yeah, I like science. It's a subject I've always um, enjoyed, mm -hmm. you know, discovering new stuff. And also, you know, people here are great, so that's really? pretty yeah. cool too, yeah. Especially, it's great. They're really nice people. Mm -hmm. and. It's, always, it's just a good experience in general. Now, in high school, science was not my favorite subject. <laughs> so when you said you enjoy it, can you just elaborate what you enjoy about it exactly? Um, well, you know, understanding how stuff mm -hmm. works, um, mm -hmm. like how like everything works around yep. you. Um, also, yeah, it's just something yep. I like. So with your presentation, how long did it take to put this together? It took a while. <laughs> um, the experiment itself took like 30 to 50 days. Yeah. Um, but for the board, like, it took a weekend, two weekends to work on, and, yeah. 
There's a little rumor that the winner here gets to represent Toronto. Yeah. Do, would you like to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. It'd be, yeah, it would be nice. So if you won here, you'd bring your display all the way out there, and then you would represent us proud Torontonians there? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it your first year in the, in the fair? No, it's not. It's our second year. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you do last year? Uh, yeah, well, we talked about limestone and having um, preservatives to... Uh, protected against um, acid rain. So, really? yeah. how do you come up with your ideas? Um, well, we basically do it about stuff that we enjoy. So, for example, uh, our idea this year was came from camping because we both like camping. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the thing is, is that foods when you go camping, the fresher foods have to be eaten first, mm -hmm. and then after that, you know, you eat the pasta, the foods that can be kept later. So, we were trying to find something a natural solution to preserving foods that mold fast to extend you know extend their shelf life so they can be ingested later mm -hmm. that's honestly this whole entire thing i find very fascinating what are the stuff in the middle here these are the essential oils that we tested yep. um and what we did to pick them was that we tried to find essential oils that were edible mm -hmm. and that had antibacterial and antifungal properties but also mm -hmm. that tasted good so that you could actually eat yogurts without yeah. yeah, like if they were People. going to be used on the market, mm -hmm. that they would, you know, be acceptable taste-wise okay. and cost-wise. So. Thank you so much for your time, guys. You. I'm Deidre Marys here at the Toronto Science Fair. You should come down and check it out. Thank you for your time. It's 11 and I have...